It's post time for the 12th race, the second division of the Oliver Wendell Holmes. They're all lined up in behind the starting gate, and here they come. And they're off, and it's Tiberwood from the outside who's trying for the front. Ain't no stopping him. Pushes out from between horses. Gehrig is also up close early. Estreos angles over behind horses. High Fets Hanover toward the inside lands a good spot. And Trade Sign is up on the bid. He's six between rivals. File length is pinned down to his inside. He, too, pulling hard. Racing an eighth as the field moves around the turn is Mr. Prez. And Powerful Toy trails the field. Ain't no stopping him shows the way. But Tiberwood is up on the outside to challenge. Oh, Opening quarter in 26 and 4, and Luke is urging on Tiberwood, and he'll now clear the lead. Astreos immediately on the attack off his cover, and Astreos now paces to the front. Ain't no stopping him right back out and rolling for Campbell up on the outside. Lots of early action here as Astreos clears, and ain't no stopping him chases, and Tiberwood gaps. He's getting several one-handers there from Luke trying to keep up. Trade sign is parked on the outside fourth. Gehrig is fifth, and ain't no stopping him. Almost had room to drop in, but Tiberwood went enough to close that hole. The half and 54 and one, and now forced three wide there briefly on the turn trade sign as Ain't No Stopping Him has room to drop over against the pylons. Following cover, second over on the outside, Mr. Prez. Also advancing Powerful Toy, he's third over on the outside. Garrick has been shuffled back, he's locked in seventh, trying to find some room. High Fets Hanover shuffled out of it, and by a length trails the field. They hit three quarters in 123 flat, and it is Astreos at the top of the stretch, who's the one to beat. Astreos is now two and a half lengths in front. From the back of the pack, trying to come on, Mr. Prez. Ain't no stopping him, has plenty of room from in between horses. Astreos under left-handed urging. Ain't no stopping him with two lengths to make up in second. Mr. Prez is racing in third, but it's Astreos. Ain't no stopping him, one last surge. Astreos to win it. Ain't no stopping him, second tight for third. May have been by a length in 150 and two-fifths. Coming back to the winner's circle, number nine, Astreos. Three-year-old Colt by Arts Place out of Lucky Tune by No Nukes. Owned by Chris and Malas, Christopheru in the Banjo Farms. Trained by Brett Pelling, Chris Christopheru in the Sulky. in a time of 150 and two-fifths. Trackside to make the presentation from 1010 Wins. All news all the time. We have Chuck Waldron, Mike Kelly, Mike Kelly Jr., Steve Waldron, and Cindy Kelly, all trackside with the connections of Estreos and winning driver Chris Christopher Roo and trainer Brett Pelling. No, not surprised at all. Mr. Ritchie can drive with anybody, and uh, his horse was tremendous today. Chris Christopher Rue here, Estreos. Now, tell us a little bit about last year you won the, uh, with Brett Pelling, you won the Grin from Year to Year and a Breeders' Crown. Tell us what you know about Estreos. This is a family horse. Yeah, um, my father's uh, had him all along. He broke him and trained him down, and uh, he sent him down to Brett for uh, his American races this year. And, uh, you know, the Colts come uh, along uh, very well. We're very happy with him, that, that being only his seventh start. You know, he's really starting to come into form now. A little slow coming back, but he seems like he's made it worth the while. Last week, that first over 49 and three. When you saw that result, that surprised you? Um, not really, because like I said, it was only his sixth start last week, and uh, you know he just he seemed like he was just starting to come into form. I think the Meadowlands Pace Final really stretched him out, and uh, you know gave him that endurance that he needed for the rest of the year. In this race right here, they were going pretty good to the half. There was some activity nearing the half, but ain't no stopping him getting shut out of the hole. Tell us what was going on. Uh, basically, I, uh, you know, when I did clear, uh, I got about a two-length lead just before coming to the half, and uh, it wasn't a real, you know, savage half as far as I was concerned for my horse, and he felt very strong, and I kind of wanted to keep the lead, and when I saw that uh, there might be enough room for, for John to get in the two-hole, I, I drove on a little bit. After that, uh, I didn't look back. Ain't no stopping him, just kept digging in, though. He didn't, uh, he didn't know any quitting him today. No, he's a very good horse. Uh, he he would have been, I think, tremendous in the, in the Meadowlands Pace Final if he would have got to uh, complete the race without any interference, and uh, he showed that today. Where does his family horse go next? 
Uh, I'm not sure. We'll have to uh, see what Brett and my father discuss and uh, what their result is, and uh, then they'll tell me. Congratulations, Chris Christopher and the entire family and all the connections with the Strails. 14th race, number 10, Matuity, Richard Silverman to drive. Silverman on number 10, Matuity.